Welcome to the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian number 10. Ladies and gentlemen, and otherwise, we're in the double digits. Things are real now. Speaking of real, as of right now, I have 392 plays on my SoundCloud page for this podcast, which is crazy because I only have nine episodes out. So thank you so much for taking the time to uh, listen to these things. Because I do these, uh, it's one of the few things I, I do as far as uh, what I consider entertainment-wise that I do pretty much for myself. I really enjoy it. Um, I cosplay for uh, myself, but as well as like I want to entertain people. I want to do something really cool. So like if I do a costume that I really like, but if nobody else likes it, then I probably won't super wear it all the time. Uh, whereas the podcast, like even if nobody listened to it, uh, I'd still put them out. So the fact that people are listening... It really, really means a lot. Um, so I got some cool stuff coming up in the future for that. Um, this week's episode is Fernando, Fernando Sedano, who um, I met, good Lord, I think it would have been Animate sometime in 2014, I believe. Um, you probably know him as FD Sedano Arts on YouTube. Uh, he's made a name for himself doing cosplay music videos which are really really cool it's like a showcase of the different costumes to music and everything and we get into that um uh but fernando's cool fernando's cool he was uh raised in miami so we talked about that because i was not raised in miami so it was pretty neat and uh we can do a little bit of his background what kind of gear he uses because i'm sure some people who are into videography and uh like his videos and are on the technical side of uh uh the interests uh, we'll definitely want to know about that. But, um, yeah, this was recorded at Wizard World Fort Lauderdale. Uh, so, in advance, Fernando, if you're listening, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, record this for me. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy this. Um, the Interesting Podcast with Jedi Brian number 10 with Fernando Sedano of FD Sedano Arts. Play the theme song. <laughs> Might as well. If yeah. you want, you, you can get like two or three GoPros and and uh, you can make it into YouTube I didn't think about GoPros. Podcast. That's smart. Because if you get one, you put one right here. You right. get little stands. You put one right here. You put one back here shooting at you. The other one shooting at me. That and makes that sense. way every time I talk, what, all you got to do is edit and cut out. Every time right. I talk, you aim it towards Just me. Just get a clapper. Time. Yeah. Put the signs up. That's actually, um, there's this movie coming out next year called Smothered by Mothers. It's a... It might be in theaters. It might, if not, it's one of those straight-to-DVDs, but it's a Hollywood production. They filmed in Naples, where I live, and their H4N went out, Ooh. and I knew the people, so I had... Uh, I don't think I'll get in trouble for this, but I had some of the recordings from the movie, like four or five <laughs> takes on my... It saved on my computer. I was like, oh, I see how many times this guy took to uh, get the anchor lines right. It was like five. I, I think as long as you don't... Put it, it out there. Yeah. The I mean, I totally fine. deleted it. It's not on my computer <laughs> right now. And I don't listen to it like once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, when we go see the movie, I'll, I'll be reciting the I'll, lines. I'll know exactly <laughs> what. Oh, I know how many times it took him to get that. <laughs> oh, look, that was the second try. Right? He did, not bad. Not oh. bad. No wonder he changed up. <laughs> he right? changed yeah. it up a bunch of times. Enunciation is our friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at enunciating sometimes. Dude, I'm from North Carolina. We don't enunciate at all. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of um, combining words into just sounds. Mm -hmm. Like, what was that? No, no, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, well, that, uh, that was the one I use the most. What are you talking about? Uh, what? what was that? <laughs> yeah, enunciation isn't, uh, it's something I have to concentrate on. Oof. Yeah. I hate it. I, As, I come from a from a Spanish background, and the first thing I learned was Spanish. Oh yeah. So it was just like 
growing up in Miami, everybody speaks Spanish anyways. Right. So... Do you have, like, articulate Spanish or just kind of, like... Because I've heard some girls I went to school that are, like... like no, no. Super articulate. The accent had to leave somehow. Uh, gotcha. I still got an accent. Because right. Because a lot of people are just like, you got a Miami accent. Like, right. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I live there. Right. That <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> it's like what? It's like you go to another state and you're like, hey, where are you from? Right. And it's like, uh, what do you mean? From the U.S. Right. <laughs> <laughs> America, stupid. <laughs> Duh. So I I can tell um I can tell the North Carolina accent pretty well from other people. You don't use yeah. G's, it's all like morning, morning. You know what was that? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you're from some. You're either from North Carolina or Georgia. How do you? What what do the end of your sentences sound like? <laughs> when I went to North Carolina, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. We're at a con. <laughs> when uh I went to North Carolina now, once, and uh I decided. I, I was very punkish back then. Right. I'm punkish now, but sure. I, back then I had the mohawk and everything. Oh, nice. And uh, Did you dye it or was it just Yeah, no, it was green. I All dig green. it. green. I dig it. And then um, I walk. we went to this ship, I think it was. Or was that South Carolina? Uh, well, we went to go visit the ship, but first we went off to like different places. Okay. I went to a few museums and stuff and saw Sweet. a few things. And then uh, we went to... What is it? Raleigh? Raleigh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Raleigh. Yeah. And then uh, as we were there, some lady comes up to me and goes, are, are you a child of God? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Like, I, did, did I do something wrong? Right. <laughs> then I remember I have this hair. Right. And then right. she goes, well, I, your hairstyle is a little... Uh, I'm just like, what are you trying to say, lady? <laughs> Bless your heart. You're so nice. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Sometimes I think that, that whole little uh, bless his heart, bless your heart, it's oh, like yeah. a big F you in it the definitely face. Can. You can say whatever you want. Oh, okay. I'm just <laughs> making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big fuck you. And it's like, hey, what it's the true. hell? Fuck you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of those. Uh, yeah. It's awful. That's a lot of, um, like, in the South, it's both sides. You get, like, the Southern hospitality, like, manners, really nice. Yes or no, yeah. man. But then you have the total, like, fake. You know, yeah. you're like, oh, you know, you're doing well. I'm glad to see you. But you're like, I hate that person. It's like girl world. Oh, my God. Dude, I wouldn't survive being a girl for five minutes. It's so ridiculous. No, I, I have four sisters, dude. Oh. Four. And I lived with all of them at one point. How? How so. did you survive? <laughs> <laughs> and so I survived by getting oh. my ass beat. <laughs> Are you the youngest? No, I'm, like, the middle. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like I have two older sisters and two younger sisters. Oh, and, uh, man. And the older sisters would be like, hey, we're going somewhere. I don't want to go. Get your ass in the car. <laughs> you have oh, no okay. choice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the no. worst was when they were on their period. It's like, oh, hey, no. I'm going to go play video games. I'm playing video games. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm not playing video games. No. <laughs> I don't want to play video games. I didn't want to play. What are <laughs> video games? <laughs> Do you want to take my turn? You can have all my turns. <laughs> Do you need something? Ice cream, chocolate, whatever you want. Just please don't hit me again. Uh. <laughs> That's funny. So you grew up in Miami? Yeah. What's that like? Uh, Depends where you grew up. Yeah, <laughs> there's sections of Miami. Honestly, because when I was younger, we grew up in the ghetto. Gotcha. And uh, th that wasn't as much fun. I hear you. A lot of uh, bad stuff happening. I and I you. got into bad stuff. Of course. So, and then finally, like, I got out of it. Once we moved to, like, Hialeah area, which is still kind of bad. Right, but not as. But not as bad. I hear you. So, uh, we moved there, and it's like, okay, I'm not being, like, a douche all the time. Right. I'm not trying to, like, let's put it this way. Elementary school, uh, my best friend from elementary was actually in uh, 48 Hours, I think it's called. Oh, yeah? The, the, the show where they catch murderers. Yeah. yeah. So, nice. my elementary school best friend was on that. There you um, go. <laughs> but, <Claim> the fame. <laughs> but uh, when I went there, there was this one time this kid, uh, for no reason, just pushes me for skipping him in line and trips me. Uh, I got up, punched him in the face, broke his nose. <laughs> yeah, do what you got to do, man. And then it's like, that that's how you live there. Oh, and of course. Like, sometimes it's a good day. You don't do anything. Everything's cool. Other days it's like, oh, fuck you. Right. It's like, it damn happens. it. I got hit for no reason. Yep. 
I had yeah. to go to anger management classes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I would punch people in the face for messing with me. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, they hit me first. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Dude, you get hit first, you hit back. That's yeah. how it goes. That's how I was raised. No, but everyone just saw me of hitting course. them because all the right, all the... Although everyone got riled up after they pushed me, so obviously the teacher turns around then, and I just bot. Of oh, course, man. Of course. Damn it, I got caught again. <laughs> well, it's, what's anger management like? Because I've seen the Adam Sandler movie, but I doubt it's like that. <laughs> no, it's well for me. It was they got a whole bunch of kids that were mad. Okay. So you're most like a of the class time. of anger management. Yeah, it was like a class. It was an after school thing. Okay. And they had all the kids there together, and it sucked because they had. All the kids there together. So it means from high school down. And uh, I was still in elementary school. Oh, no. <laughs> so even when I was like a fifth grader, like we'd go outside and play and we'd go play basketball. I'm really good at passing. I'm okay at shooting. Right. And dribbling, I'm awesome, whatever. But like the whole passing thing, I can no look pass like no tomorrow. <laughs> So I did this awesome no look pass under some kid's leg one, legs one time. Right. And he got mad and punched me in the face. And right. he was in high school. Oh. And I got into a fight with him. Right. What sucks about it is back then they would like they grab you, strap you down to a table, and right. you need to calm down. Gotcha. First of all, when you're mad, <laughs> being detained, <laughs> being doesn't strapped help. down to the table does not help. Right. I do not understand that. <laughs> I can understand you taking me to a quiet room, sitting us down. Right. You know, talking to us like, oh, this, this, and this. No, but strapping you down. <laughs> this luckily, seems like now they change up the rules. Right. <laughs> and like kids aren't getting as bad a treatment like I did. Right. But it was one of those things. It was. It's. It's. It was pretty, pretty bad because like uh, I had to go pick up something from for one of the jobs that I had to do not too long ago. I was a security guard. Oh, nice! And nice. I had to go pick up uh, something from the psych ward. Right. And going back into something like that, it's just oh. one of those things where it's like I never want to come here again. Oh, right. I have a buddy of mine who uh, he works security at a mental institution oh, on the I other know. coast. <laughs> he has like the worst horror stories ever. No, like people you. are legit, like insane, like yeah, poop no. on their hands and eating I've, it. I've seen. Oh, oh. I've seen. No thanks. I was just like, whoa. When I was there, I was a little kid. Oh, this is even this worse. Is, this is even worse. It's like, <laughs> oh, this is scary. Right. <laughs> this is what happens when you get angry. I, I'm good. I'm good, Goose Raba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I swear, I'm okay. Man, sometimes it sucked because, like, I wouldn't even choose to fight or I wouldn't fight back. Sure. And I'd still get thrown into that chair. Uh, it's like I'm not doing anything. Oh, man. The public school system, right? Uh, <laughs> well, it wasn't really public school. It was a, it was actually a, a psych ward that oh, separate from worse. it that we had to go that I had oh, to go to. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I had to go to it. If not, I'd have to go to, like, a private school or move schools. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. That's crazy, though. Yeah, that doesn't make sense if somebody's really mad. Yeah, let's just detain them and let them get more mad yeah. because they're being detained. That's, that's like, ridiculous. Like little kids. You ever see a little kid get mad, but you put him on timeout. Oh, he's yeah. still mad, but he's in the corner. Right. He's not going to move. So just put him in timeout. Right. <laughs> Why the hell you got to strap us down to the table? They've already, like, are too mad. You ever seen the kid do that, like, shaky eyes thing where they just, like, grunt? Oh, my it's God. It's terrifying. That's like a three-year-old. I'm like, I'm good. You can have that one. <laughs> and the worst part was, like, uh, I have ADHD. I feel so you. So I was always very active. Right. So when someone would hit me, it'd be like, yeah, whoa, let's go. Right. And then. It's go time. <laughs> it's like, oh, crap. Why did I just do that? <laughs> right. I'm with you. You'll notice. Actually, you'll notice in this podcast, I bounce around so much because I'm like, what's everywhere? <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, we could talk about one thing and all of a sudden we're talking about, like, something on the floor. Right. It's like, what? Hey, exactly. look at that. Speaking <laughs> of. <laughs> it's like, what were we just talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> So, actually, now that I'm looking at your camera, you make videos, which yes. are awesome. I'm a fan. Thank you. What got you into it? Video games. Yeah? Yeah. Really? <laughs> no joke. To go from playing video games to... Um, I started playing Halo. I got into a team, and we got, we got really good. Cool. And we started competing and competing and competing. And I ended up starting to meet, like, big players. And uh, I got out of it because I wasn't as good as at the other Halos once sure. they started coming out. And then 
Call of Duty came around and I got better. And then I got good at Call of Duty. Hey, let's do this game. Yeah, I uh, uh, started competing. And uh, uh, some guy would edit videos for us uh, okay. and put them up for the, for the little team that we had. And then from there, it just moved on. And then I started making my own YouTube videos. I wasn't popular, but I was playing with all the popular people. Right. I've played with people like Only Use Me Blade, uh, oh, what? X Jaws. The, there used to be a guy named S and D for Dummies. Yeah. And he used to be like really popular because he used to do the tutorials on just search and destroy, and how to be good at search ah, and destroy. Ah, okay. I was on his. I was in his clan and everything. What? Uh, before. Uh, what was her name? Something gamer girl. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I I played with a lot of people that were like really popular. Sure. And then. I wasn't. I never asked for a shout out. Right. I've never been that type of person. I've always been the type of person that's like, I'm gonna do my work, and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Right. Let the work speak for itself, as yeah. opposed to asking for handouts. Yeah. I respect that. So, I, I started making my own little YouTube videos, playing with them or playing, but I never tagged them in it so that I wouldn't get their viewers coming to me like easily. Right. So, after editing a whole bunch of that. My friend got into photography. Ah. Uh, well, he, my, my brother. Right. Because <laughs> I've known him for so long. Um, he got into photography and showed me the basics. Okay. And I was like, I can use this camera to do video. Let's do video. And he's like, uh -huh. okay. Right. I love doing video anyways because of the gaming. Gotcha. And then uh, we tried, and I felt like it, I, I didn't feel it. Like, I didn't feel, right. it, feel it. And then I just I got my own camera. Started doing photography because no one wanted to act. It was hard to get people to act. I hear you. And then finally I went to a con and I was bored. After watching Sneaky Zebra. Oh, yeah. Their, I love them. Their, their Comic-Con video. Their, their San boogies. Diego Comic-Con. One of their first ones. Like I saw it and I was just like, oh, my God, I want to do that. I should do that one day. I went to a con and I was bored and I was just like, I'm going to try video. And I did my first video, which is still up on my YouTube channel. Nice. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, horrible. You look at my stuff now and you're like, oh, man, this is pretty cool. Uh, back then, it was, it was just like, what the hell right. is up with this video? <laughs> you tried. I tried. <laughs> and I leave it up there just to remind myself, like. Absolutely. What I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't the best. Like, I didn't come from being, like, sure. the best. So I leave that up there. And then I did my second video. I decided to get, like, a tripod and move it with, ah, and okay. the, it came out a little better. And then I ended up buying a, a steady stabilizer. Yeah, for, yeah. And that's how I started getting steady shots and this and that. At first I would show from feet to head and back down. Sure. Now I just try to do as much as possible. Right, you go for like, I've noticed your videos have gone from like a showcase to like a cinematic sort of look. I try. I dig it. Especially now with like, I've. I've changed up the the style I shoot in, right. so it's a more flatter image, and I gotta color correct it, and I gotta do this to it, and I gotta do that to that. So now it's more cinematic than it was before, right. especially with look look wise. Sure, sure. I like it a lot. I um I do videography for a living back in Naples, and after like four or five years, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I work for Fist a television bump. network. <laughs> nice. I do like everything else. <laughs> I produce my own TV show. I had for um for a season. I shot it, edited it, sent it into the network, and then uh -huh. I canceled it because it didn't work out. Uh, Me and the guys yeah. made unprofessional, so I was like, I'm done. And I had the power to do so, so that was pretty awesome. Oh, cool. Uh, but um, as such, I can really appreciate your work and stuff like that. Like, Thank you. I really, really enjoy, I forget which con it was, but you would do the full body and then you would cut to a closer shot of like I think a that bus was shot. Mega con. Probably make beautiful. Beautiful cinematography. I really, yeah. really enjoyed it. Um, what do you shoot on? I'm sure that's a question this, you get a lot. This is a Canon T4i. T4, okay. Uh, and I use the lens I use for the wide shots is a Tokina 11 to 16. Sweet. So it's not exactly a Canon. Whoa, whoa everything's expensive. Right. It's uh, the this camera right now is about 500 bucks. That's when I first all. bought it, it was a thousand dollars. Right. Because of the, it, it was the only consumer. DSLR that would do 
30 minutes video, but it would split it up. Ah, 15 and 15. Sense. Gotcha. So that's why I had bought it, and then they made a lot of adjustments to it for video. Then they discontinued right. it, and I was just like, you fuckers. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And they've got, like, you know, the, uh, the Canon Rebels. There's yeah. a new one every couple of years, and yeah, oh, they just yeah, throw out the old ones. No, man, like, there, there's the, the, eye, the one that adds the eye to it every once in a while. Because there's a 3T and then there's a 3TI uh, before this. And then this came out. And then they made the, the T5I. Oh, no, the T3I. Sorry. I'm just mixing something. it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, then they made the T4I, which I got. And then they made the T5I, which is the same thing. Right. Just a little tiny bit better. Gotcha. So that's why they discontinued the T4I. Makes sense. That's like the difference between a T2i and a T3i is a swivel screen. It's the same yeah. camera. It's a swivel. Yeah. <laughs> so they discontinued the T2i. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they that's what they're doing, and it's like, oh man, all right, fine, that's cool. Right. Yeah. Um, but other than that, there's a the little rig that I like to use. It's a fly cam, even though. Right. I, I think I have one of those. I don't really recommend it that much. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you. I'm upgrading to the Devin Graham Signature Series right. Glide Cam. And then, like, now that I'm getting more money working for a television network right. as a cameraman, it's like, ah, oh, here, ha, Dude, I can get more stuff. Dude, invest in your art. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like, I'm going to get all this new stuff before I get a new car. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> have this stuff pay for your car. That's how you do it. Yeah, exactly. That's how you do it, man. That's cool. So where do you... Uh, where do you want to go with it, ultimately? Um, like, what would you like to do? Because if I'm, you're anything like me, you do these sort of things, and they always, like, will turn into more stuff, better gear, better Yeah, um, the whole thing I want to do, I want to get more into, like, I love doing my cosplay videos, but sometimes when you go to a con, there isn't exactly a lot of good cosplay. Right. And you don't want to, you want to show off the best sometimes. Sure, sure. Like, a lot of times, yeah, I do take whatever I can get because and, and I do take whatever whenever people come up to me because they like my stuff and they'll be like oh I want to be in your video it's right. like okay yeah I don't mind it's like, I'm not very I'm not that picky You're not at exclusive. all I'm not like right. oh I'm just gonna get these people because they're popular and no right no, I get anybody the thing is I, it's some cons it gets it's small and it's it has enough people it just doesn't have enough content-wise people. Because right. a lot of people, yeah, they make good cost. Like, they'll, they'll have a, a good costume on. But when I go to get a video of them, they give me, like, the most stank face ever. Right. And it's really just like, poses oh, and just come on, stale. man. I don't want to use that because then it just looks like they're angry at me through video. Right. <laughs> I've, I've learned that. There's a, there's a look like um, Danica. Yeah. Danica has what I call model face. Where oh, she yeah. can just go from regular to, she just knows how her face feels in a picture and looks perfect every time. She knows how to smize. Right? Smile with yes. her eyes. That's right. She's just got it. She, a, she, a lot of people, it look you look angry. You're trying to do that like squint thing to yeah. look cool, and it just doesn't work. No, I had this. I had this one video of this one person. They looked like they were trying to like wink. Oh, yeah. They closed both eyes, and I was just <laughs> like, I'm not sure if that was a wink right. or a blink. <laughs> Some people can't they, wait. I, yeah, no. They, <laughs> right? And that's fine. And I was just like, I... We'll fix it in post. Whatever. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too sure about it, so I just, okay, you know what? I'm just going to put it up. And, right. And just, whatever happens, happens. Of like, course. Now, the, the thing with putting up certain things is it's YouTube. Yes. YouTube likes to be like, hey, this person is fat. What? Oh, yeah, the comment section yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, it's like, uh, yo, is this person's nice. Like, right. They dressed, they did it good. Uh, leave them alone. Right. So, yeah, everyone started getting picky. Of course. So that's the only reason I started getting picky about right. people that get into my videos. That makes sense. But and other an than that, like, like, anyone that walks up to me, just, hey. Right. Just, yeah, sure, I'll get you on video. That Let's makes go. sense. Because, yeah, anybody that is in your video is obviously going to watch it a bunch. And then human curiosity, you're going to look at the comment section. Oh, and you don't course. want somebody to get their feelings hurt and stuff. Yeah, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it when there was this one video. I don't remember which one. And they were like, oh, she's too fat to be in that dress. It's like, yo. like, Right. Don't be a dick. 
<laughs> Stop that's being such a dick. For real. <laughs> but I didn't want to. I didn't want to post it, and people are like, "Delete that comment." Right. And I'm just like, it's someone's personal opinion. Right. No matter what, I'm gonna respect people's personal opinion. Right. Even if they're trashing me. Sure. Sure. Yeah, like especially on 4chan. <laughs> 4chan. I. Okay, so 4chan. Let's get on this rabbit hole. I've been there once. Uh -huh. And it was because a mutual friend was getting trash talked about it. And I was like, no, it can't be that bad. I'm convinced 4chan is where trolls like mate with Satan <laughs> and their babies get bullied and then they get on a forum. They're the <laughs> worst people I've ever because, read comments. Because it's completely anonymous. Yep, absolutely. Completely anonymous. And it's like, I can talk all the shit I want. Right. And people will listen. It's ha, ha, ha. Isn't it crazy that there's like a Florida section? Did you is, notice that? There's, there's, like, there's a cosplay section. Yeah. There's like this community here. It's like they've infiltrated our ranks. And uh, it bothers me because. Same. Like some people, like one of the comments on there that really bothered me. There's two that actually got to me. Yeah. And I was pissed. Right. One was someone saying never to shoot with me. And I was just like, whoa, oh. what was that? Like, the first time I was ever on it, someone said I was a creeper. Right. That seems to be the that, first go-to for that my anyone. And that my uh, photography is below average. Okay, your opinion on my photography? That's sure. fine. Right. But me being a creeper, you must have seen me around one of my friends that are girls. Right. Because I, me and, I, I act perverted with them, and sure. they know I'm just playing. Yeah, it's part of the humor. Of course. So, the, I was just like, okay. And then... The next thing that happened, uh, that was the first time that it ever happened. And then I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I'm not even going to. Right. Brush it off. Whatever. whatever. They're crazy. Who cares? They're, they're trashing every single photographer in Florida. Right. So I was just like. <laughs> hey, I made the list. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, then I saw one that said uh, that never to shoot with me because I'm a big perv that will only want to shoot nudes. And I'm just like, wait, what? Right. Uh, yeah, and they called me a spick in it. Not only did they oh, call me a they spick. They had to get racist. Oh, yeah, yeah they had to get racist. <laughs> if oh, you're going to do it, go spick, out. Uh, never shoot with him. And I was just like, okay. So at least I know it wasn't a Hispanic person. Right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that narrows it down to <laughs> half of them. <laughs> so. Welcome to 4chan. <laughs> so I was just like, why why never shoot with me? Oh, he asked me to do nudes and would never. Like, I asked him if we can shoot another thing. And he said no. And I was just like, I've never done that to someone. Right. Never. If I've ever asked someone to shoot. I, first of all, I don't ask to shoot right. nudes. I I tell them this is what I'm working on. If you right. want to be a part of it, cool. If not, what are your ideas? Right, absolutely. I don't go, "Hey, you want to shoot a nude book with me?" Right. Uh, no. <laughs> sure. No. It's one of those things where it's like, "Hey, I'm doing a nude book. I like it's really cool." Right. But it's not something that I'm telling you to do with me. Right. It's just There's what I'm doing project, at the moment. You're opening the opportunity. Yeah. If you want to do it, come do it. And there'll be some of them say yes, some of them say no. Sure. And then, well, the ones that say no are like, no, I want to shoot this, and it's like, okay, we'll shoot that. That's cool. Right. I, right. I don't mind shooting that. It, I'm always open to ideas, and I'm always open to doing other stuff. Like right now, I got out of cosplay photography. Yeah. And I started doing more fashion stuff, more lingerie, more sure bikini stuff, and people are like, oh, you're such a perv because of it. No, actually, I started photography doing right. that. Right. That's how I started. It's not that I started photography doing cosplay. Sure. It's I started doing sexy shoots because people wanted me to do it. Right, of course. And I was, and like, there was this, like the first model I ever had, she was like, I want to do a sexy shoot with short shorts and this and that and blah, blah. And I was just like, okay. Right. Sweet. I've never shot someone before. Well, right. Yeah, in both ways. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I've never shot someone before. And then I don't mind trying. So that's how I ended up getting into it, was doing sexy photography of girls. And then sure. all of a sudden, another girl came up that was her friend and was like, oh, yeah, I want to do a bikini. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Sure. So I, that's how I started out, and that's how I kept going. And then 
I went to a con and I decided to take my camera and that's how I got into the cosplay photography. Right, for sure. Yeah, you see an opportunity, you're a photographer, fill it. You know, yeah. it is what it is. And then I got so much shit about it, so I decided, you know what, this is too much drama in this community for photographers. For real. And, and cosplayers in general. Right. The, it, the community is awesome when you first come in. Yep, absolutely. Once you find the dark secrets on the inside, it's one of those things where it's like, man right i was i had talked to johnny about that actually i was like when you start cosplaying it's great the second you start taking it seriously and get into the community there's the second layer of just garbage yeah everyone it can get so awful so quickly yeah like i've got my friends like you're my friend right. i've got all uh, danica right. Marie. i got all all of them are my friends and i've even met people like nadia sonica from mexico oh sweet She's a friend of mine. That's like, awesome. We, we, I've Vegas become awesome. friends with people that are in this community, and people are like, oh, you're just friends with the popular cosplayers. And I'm like, yeah, I'm mostly friends with them because they don't go around talking shit about me. Right, yeah, <laughs> because they're actually cool. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually pretty cool people. Absolutely. And most of the time, they get shit talked. And right? we just talk about it, and it's like, yeah, that's how we become friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're but, talking bad about both of us, so we got together. Yeah. Now you're mad because you're not in the circle. Yeah. It's and, crazy. Uh, well, not going to lie, like, the community has opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Absolutely. Like, I got the reason, one of the reasons I got my job was uh, I met a friend, Alex, through doing these videos and he was like oh i'm a steady cam operator at a at univision television network and i was just really? like oh really cool and then he was just like yeah yeah and then one day he was just like oh why why do you keep trying to get big on youtube and i'm like i want to try and make more money and make it a living right and they're like and he was like is that all you're doing no i'm doing it for fun right because i'm i have other jobs like i of course it, it, i have other jobs i'm making money and i would love if this happened but if it doesn't happen, I do not mind it. Right, right, right. Uh, but it's something I would love, and I would, it would be an awesome job. For sure. To be like, ah, I'm a YouTuber. Right. But I really don't care about getting the popularity or the fame. Right. So it, he told me, so if you don't care about it, why don't you work for a TV network? And I go, honestly, I've applied. I have. Uh, I, I've applied at, I applied at uh, NBC6. Okay. And I got shot down, and I was just like, oh, man. And then he was like, look, we have an opening. Here you go. What? I was like, what? I'm down. I applied for it, and they asked me what was my background in TV, and I was just like, nothing. Right? YouTube, FD, sit on arts. And then, <laughs> and then they asked me, "What? have you ever done videos before this and that? And I'm like, yeah, YouTube. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> this is... this is around the beginning of this year, like in February 2015 okay. is when I got hired. But... Um, like, like they called me up and they're like oh so what have you done this and that I went in they're like what do you want to be able to achieve and I go I want to become a cameraman right. like I know this, this, this job right now that you're trying to give me the position is not cameraman I'm going to be working w around the cameraman right? but I'm going to try and learn as much as possible and they're like oh okay cool so I ended up learning as much as I can and now nice. I'm a cameraman dude but uh they were like, oh, you've never worked a video before. I was like, I have a YouTube channel. That's the most video I do. Right. And they checked it out, and they actually liked it. That's awesome. So they were like, oh, this is really cool. All right, I like these shots. And they're like, how did you get them so steady? And I'm like, I use this little tiny right. steady cam looking <laughs> it's thing. It's a stick with weights on it. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, cool, our rig is way bigger, so we can't throw you on it. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 80 pounds. Nice. So we're not going to like just let you do it. And I was just like, oh, you, that's no problem. Right, right. They're like, we're going to start you off with other cameras <laughs> after you learn. Work your, you up to it. Yeah. I was like, wow. oh, that's fine. And he's like, okay, we'll give you a call. And I was like, damn. Right. I, so hate close. It when, I hate it when you get that. We'll give you a call. Right. February rolls around. I get a call. What? And they're like. Uh, I just wanted to know your more about your experience, and I was like, I, I thought I told the other guy. Right, <laughs> <laughs> we've been over this. But <laughs> I was like, um, I used to do drama and acting in school, right. but I'm not trying to go for that because I noticed, like, I don't 
like to act that much. Right. I don't mind acting, but it's just like it's not one of those things where it's like, yes, acting. Oh yeah, find your passion. Yeah, I would re much rather work the camera, get the angles, make the actor look good. Right. So, Absolutely. I was just like, oh hmm, I. I did acting. I did a lot of stage and sure. lighting stuff also. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and what about video-wise? And I was like, I got a YouTube channel. And at this time, my one of my videos was like second in the world. If you look up cosplay music video, it's right under Sneaky Zebra. Really? And I was just like, ooh. And it's That's my cool. like 2014 like mashup oh, okay. of all, my co all the cosplay music videos oh, I remember I put that together. One. I think I'm in that one. Yeah, I think you are. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you are actually, <laughs> with the with uh, the cabbage, the, the cabbage oh, the leaves, leaves flying, flying <laughs> everywhere. So, <laughs> so I showed it to them, and they're like, "Okay, so who did the editing? Me. Who did the video work? Me. Who did the uh, color I... correction? Me. Did you do this whole video by yourself? Yes. You're hired. Really? Yeah. Come in, dude. Come in this weekend. What? That's so cool. What? So, yeah. So, it was, from cosplay, it was awesome. doing whatever for fun to working yeah. your dream job at a TV set. That's yep. so cool, man. That's cool. That's, uh, I, I've talked to other people about it. I use, I mean, cosplay is great and I love it, but I, I do the same thing. I'm trying to platform it into other things. Yeah. I've, since I was like three, I've wanted to work in entertainment. Mm -hmm. Always. Like, I did, I did children's theater. I did four years of drama in high school. I, um, because of cosplay have built a reputation around Florida. Yeah. I mean, dude, there's no way to make it, there's no way to say it without sounding like a dick. Yeah. If you go to a con in Florida, you probably know who I am because the cabbages. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, dude, the, the, the cabbage cabbages. Like, Everyone knows the cabbage guy. It's crazy, you know? And because of that, I've gotten some reach from people. Yeah. And I've gotten opportunities to be like, you should do this. And since then, I was just one of the leads in a feature film that'll be oh. on DVD later this year and Netflix next year. Nice. And then I was on, I got a part in Smothered by Mothers, a small little extra part that's speaking, which might be in theaters next year. Okay. And I just got another lead role in something they're going to put in the festivals like Sundance and Cannes, see if they can get into oh, it. Oh, that's cool. All from, like, they got the reputation, so I got a shot. Yeah. You know, because that's what it really that, is. That's, it's, yeah. It's, what's uh, the difference between the, somebody else and you put your name out there, you know? Sorry, the guys from Boondock Saints just walked by. Get what? They're right there. I think they're following me. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, it was one of those things where it's just like, oh. Right, it's Della Rocco. Oh, my oh God. God. What color is the oh cat? My God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's also, oh, my God, I forgot his name. Sean I feel Flannery. So bad. Yes. Sean Patrick Flannery. The yes. other Boondock Saint that isn't Norman Reedus. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's better at the Irish accent. Yes. No offense to Norman Reedus. Shh. But it's not great. <laughs> Shh. You know you're going to get slayed for that, right? I know. I know. <laughs> I'm honest on the podcast. I love Norman Reedus, but watch Boondock Saints. He barely talks in it because his Irish accent is not fantastic. This guy, on the other hand, phenomenal. Oh, but his last I name is it. Flannery. Yeah. Well, Reedus is Irish too, but still. E either way, I love the first oh, yeah. Boondock Saints. Dude. Let, let, me, let me say the first right yeah. away because it was an awesome movie. I love Billy Connolly. Such a <laughs> badass. Their dad. Yeah. He's like, what? He's made a vest. And then the second movie, you find out like it's pretty dark. Yeah. I came up with the vest idea. Oh, I, I didn't like the second movie as much. I, I, mean, I didn't like it anywhere near as much. I actually watched the first 20 minutes and shut it off because I hated it. Then I went back and I was like, okay, it, it picked up. But not enough to make up for it. Yeah. No, I No couldn't. Willem Dafoe, man. I had to... Ugh. I had to shut it off like three times before yeah. I actually watched it. It's rough. Completely. It's really rough. But the first one I've watched it's over phenomenal. and over. I've even gotten people like people come over to my house and I have like a huge 500 DVD collection. Oh, nice. I love movies. Always so love movies. Oh, we're about to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I went, when, when people come over, I have an, an alphabetical order. Beautiful. So Boondock Saints is like one of the first few ones that people see nice. and they're like what's this about is this the boondocks no no not the tar not the cartoon right, right. this is different this is awesome and we're gonna watch it now <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit. <laughs> you invite sit new people over just so you can watch it again <laughs> <laughs> no i did that with fight club <laughs> oh fight club was the first movie i ever saw with a twist ending blew my mind actually was it the first movie i saw i think it was yeah that that that's what got me into that whole twist ending movie kind of thing. Crazy good. I, the mindfuck movies is what I call them. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I love them. For I, real. Like, 
Uh, and then I saw the sixth sense, and I was just like, ah, right? yes, finally another one. Right. <laughs> and then I'm like, that's it. Like, I need to find more movies like this. Right. Where's and the I one started watching, like, so many movies. And people people started recommending some of them to me. Yeah. And, like, one of the ones that I really liked, uh, it it drags on a little bit. It's called Sublime. Sublime. Okay. Who's yeah, that? Yeah. You got to check it out. Yeah. A Sublime. And uh, what happens is this guy goes in for a colonoscopy. Okay. You know, when Up you get butt. to that age. Yep. It's, they need to stick something up your butthole. Yep. So uh, he goes in for that. And then before he went in, he was reading about, like, how people would misdo things to patients. Oh, no. <laughs> and sometimes do the wrong operation. Oh. And the whole movie, throughout the whole movie, you're trying to figure out if he's, like, what the hell is going on. Really? Yeah, because he goes in, then he wakes up, and he's like, what? the hell just happened oh no he couldn't like like it it gets to that point where he's in that weird part of the hospital that no one goes to oh what and you're just like whoa did someone take out like his kidneys and stuff what is going on that sounds awesome yeah so you're the whole time you're like what's going on what's going on what's going on and then at the end you're like what the what that was like um did did you ever see repo man uh, no. The, with the new one, that has a twist. We were like, oh, snap, what? Okay, now I'm going to watch it. It's pretty nuts. I, 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 there was a point in, like, where uh, I didn't go watch movies for a while. Yeah? I had too many movies that I needed <laughs> to watch already. Right. And uh, I would go to, like, Walmart, the $5 bin, and oh. be like, oh, I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen that right? one. And they got the and new like, thing where it's, like, four movies in one. Have you seen those? Oh, yeah. Oh, I go crazy for them. It's $10 I, for four movies. Yeah. Done. It's just like, what? <laughs> Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Have you seen anything good recently? Recently, recently. I'm trying to remember what recent movies. Like in theaters? Or just on DVD and Netflix. Movies I saw was good. Interstellar. Interstellar was crazy. And I it was just like, oh, man. Right? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, your brain hurts at the end? Yeah. No, what sucked was... uh. I had just broken up with my girlfriend, and oh, I was kind of no. sad. And then my daughter, like... I just called me that she's like, she's going to go to a trip to Colombia. And I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm going to miss you. Oh, uh, just tear then, the wound. And then uh, all of a sudden I watch this this DVD and I'm, I'm, I'm leaving my children and going away for like three years. I'm going to yep. cry. Oh, man. that when, <laughs> when he goes on that planet, then he comes back and watches the messages. Oh, and it, man. Dude, I cried so hard. No, like <laughs> I, I'm tearing up right now. Like, Are you a crier in movies? <laughs> I'm a crier. Depends on how good the movie was yeah. made. Yeah. Are you like me when you when you watch a movie you invest? Yes. You're like I am in this. Yes. The, okay. The, me it, too. It's like that character is me. That's it. Yep. Exactly. Like, I, that's it. Yeah. Like I'm going to open myself up completely, and we're gonna feel what he feels. Yeah. Which is a horrible idea sometimes. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> I, the listeners now would probably be like, I don't get what they're saying. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just crying. wait till they get stabbed. It's right? like one of those, like, oh, you grab your side and. <laughs> G baby, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. What was the first movie that ever made you cry? Oh, man. I don't even know. All right. That, that's, that's a very hard. Right? I, I'm trying to remember <laughs> what it was. I asked myself that once. I was like, wow, I cry in a lot of movies. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, it was when I was a kid. Free Willy. Ooh, that's a good one. Free Willy. Oh, man. It had to be Free Willy. Because that was like good. my that was my main... That was, you know when you're a kid, you have that one movie that you're just like, oh, I want to watch it again. Oh, yeah. I want to exactly. watch you it again. You rewind the VHS to oh, put it back in? Hell oh, yeah. Was, I'd put it in that little car rewinder thing. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they're real fast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for this. Thank God we have the technology <laughs> to rewind twice the speed. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So I would rewind it, watch it again and again and again. I, I invested my my mom's money into that <laughs> so much. It was one of those things where it's like, it's like, oh, Free Willy 2 is coming up. Mom, we got to go to theaters. Right, done. Oh, there's a third one. Go to the theaters right. now. <laughs> but no theaters. There's a third oh. one coming out. Mom, theaters. <laughs> you don't understand. She's like, you can watch it at home. No theaters. <laughs> so, yeah, 
And then I would buy the special editions with the, I had the one with the little whale pendant. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't even know where that thing is at anymore, but I, <laughs> I had the one with the. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Free Willy's good. Did you cry in Titanic? No. Yeah? I don't remember if no. I did. I feel like I did, but I don't I, remember if I did. That whole I email. actually, the weirdest part about Titanic for me was that I got slapped in the face because I laughed. Was it when the dude hit the propeller? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I laughed when she goes, I'll never let go, Jack. No. And lets him go. <laughs> and I just thought it was so ironic. Oh, no. And I laughed. And my mom was there watching, which was really awkward, especially when paint me one like one of your French girls. Oh yeah, or they're doing my in the car? mom was there. Oh. This was 1999. I was probably like in middle school, high school. Oh, I was no. in middle school. I was I still haven't gotten to high school, <laughs> and she's just like, "You can't watch this." Oh, I can do. I can I'm do like, you one I worse. I can look at boobies. It's okay. <laughs> I can do you one worse. Uh, I my parents used to do this thing where they would take my brother and I and do like a bonding day like uh-huh. yeah we're gonna spend a day with mom today spend a day with dad today you know while the other one does whatever um, which now that I think about it, it sounds like they were divorced but they're not <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna spend a day with mom and the dad no it's just like a weird thing but anyway um, on a day with just me and my mom we went and saw 300 ah uh, and if you remember oh, 300 yes. <laughs> Um, Leonidas, before he goes off to war, has a, a fling with his yeah. wife. Yeah. It's in slow motion and lasts like three and a half minutes. Yeah. Just me and my mom <laughs> <laughs> in theaters. Just, <laughs> well. <laughs> that was, that, that, that's like me watching. Like I decided to watch Game of Thrones for the first time. Oh, nice. And I was with uh, my girlfriend at the time. She was there and her mom was there. Oh, no. And I'm here holding my girlfriend. I had my arm around her. It was sure. not like I'm like all up on her. But I had my arm around her. She was sitting next to me. And the mom's like on another, like one person sofa, like oh, not sure. even two feet away. <laughs> She's in her own like hawk's nest. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like boobs it's just like oh uh, oh yeah um, and then that episode ends with a brother and a sister doing it yeah and then they push a kid out a window yeah that's a that's a good start so <laughs> she was like i don't feel like watching this anymore <laughs> and i was like i don't blame any of you for not feeling i don't even want to watch this This is disgusting right yeah totally oh, game of thrones <laughs> uh, and you watch the whole first season the next uh, day and then like i went home and binge watched the shit out of it <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show, man. I dig it. I've read the books, so I, I like it a lot. Uh, I have I have not read the books. Not They're gonna lie. So good. They're way better than the show. Yeah. But I dig it. Do you watch anything else? Like any shows that? Attention. Doctor Who. Yeah, you're a Whovian. Yeah. yeah. I love Doctor Who. What is it about Doctor Who that you like? Because I've I tried it. The reboot, you know, with nine. And I saw the first, like, three episodes, and I just couldn't get into it. But I've heard ten, it's what makes it. No, you have to go. The, the thing is, nine at the beginning didn't do it for me. Yeah? They told, they kept telling me, give it a chance, give it a chance, give it a chance. Nine is pretty slow-paced right. compared to ten. Gotcha. But nine started off for people that haven't watched the old ones. Okay. So at the same time, it's like, I never watched the old ones before nine. Right. Not gonna lie, I, I was watching it. I was just like, I, uh, okay, so this is why this happens. That's a time machine. Uh huh. Right. Okay. He's a doctor. Uh huh. Right. No one knows his fucking name. Right. He's uh-huh. just the doctor. He meets this ch- pretty hot chick. <laughs> right. Uh huh. She decides to go away with him. Sounds like a fling to me. Right. <laughs> and then I just keep watching it, and then I just invested so much into it, and I was just like, whoa. That makes and sense. And then. That Where's My Mommy episode came. That's the one that did it have, for you? Have you seen it? I've heard of it. I know it's you a little kid in a gas it. mask and it's terrifying. Yes. And it's pretty... It, it gets... It, it, it got to me because yeah. it was really... It was really real and emotional. Gotcha. Okay. Because the, it, at first you're just like, oh God, what the hell? That's scary. Right. Oh God, what the hell? That's scary. And it's like it's like a ghost kind of thing. Okay. And it's like, oh my God, what the hell? Oh my God. Oh, and right. then you see a whole bunch of different kids. Where's my mommy? Uh, it's like, whoa. Uh, okay. And then finally you figure out why the kid kept saying that. Right. And it's just like. And that's what got you. Oh, 
So you just like stuck with it. You're like, I don't know why I'm just gonna stick with it, and then it just clicked. That was me yeah. and um, True Blood. Oh, I I didn't continue that after yeah. the third season. I uh, I binge watched all of it the last three weeks. Like I just finished <laughs> it last week. The the third season. Oh man! Like once they started incorporating uh, the wolves, I'd stop. Yeah, they get they get weird. Like uh, Were Panthers. What? Yeah, it's a uh, you know like okay. the prefix <laughs> Were. What's funny though is uh, I was like that's ridiculous, and one of the characters is like that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, oh, they know it's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, obviously there's different writers, so of one course. of them was like, "This is so dumb." Right. But they accepted it, so I'm gonna say it's dumb exactly. in the show. And it, the funniest part was, and it's, I mean, it's not a spoiler alert. It's not really significant in the whole run of the show. But there's a part when the the Were Panthers are essentially just this like inbred family of like hicks, you know, just horrible. <laughs> and they're like legit inbred. They're like, you know, your uncle brother, and like crazy, right? Oh wow! So they're Were Panthers. They turn into Panthers, and. It's just them. They're only in it for like four episodes, and then they write them off. So it was like they tried what? this idea. It was really dumb, so they wrote it out. Oh, my God. And you God. can tell while watching the show, you're like, that's dumb. And then they got rid of it. No, uh, I watched the first, I think the first episode of season three. Yeah. And then I noticed that they had a uh, Snoop Dogg made a, yeah. made a music video called right. Usuki or whatever. Oh, and I was no. just like, I'm I'm done with this show. <laughs> like, I, I can't anymore. <laughs> that was your out? Yeah, that was my out. I was just like, no. Have you no. seen... I I was going to rephrase it, but then I just realized, Doctor Who is your favorite show. Would you say is your favorite of all time? I don't know. It is. It's, it varies. Yeah? Because, like, for a while, Heroes... The f- I've heard Heroes is phenomenal, the, except for uh, season two. Yeah, the first <laughs> season was freaking amazing. Yeah. Now Heroes Reborn is I haven't watched it yet. Right. I want to wait till it ends to actually watch it, because <laughs> I can make binge sure watch good. it sure. and make sure I like it. Right. Instead of just watching one episode and being like, uh, I don't know if I want to watch this anymore. Right. Right. It, I, that's how I rather get into shows. Okay. Than just watching the first episode and being like, oh yeah, I like it. Right. Oh okay. This oh. is what now you're asking me my favorite show. Yeah, your favorite right show. Right now, right now, as right of now. right now. Okay. Mr. Robot. Oh, I've heard great things about it. Everyone's talking about it. Amazing. Really? Amazing. I mean, I got hooked first episode. Really? Yeah, I'm not usually one to get hooked first episode. Sure. But I got so hooked, I went home, watched the second episode, watched... Uh, I, like. Really? My friend showed me the first episode... And he goes, well, the third episode comes out Wednesday. And I'm like, I have to watch the second one. Right. Yeah. I got to catch up. <laughs> well, then I've got 12 hours. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I decided to go watch it. And then I watched the third episode with him. And then we kept watching it. And then they they held back one week for the season finale. And I got oh. so pissed. <laughs> and that's the first time I ever got in pissed. Right. Even Walking Dead. Like, people, hey, oh, man, now we have to wait till October. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, time. No, but this one, it's like we held it one week. I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard great things. Great things about Mr. Robot. I um, I like Firefly. You ever seen Firefly? Oh, yes. It's my favorite show of all time. I love Firefly. Firefly is good. But I dig westerns and sci-fi, and it's both. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, have you seen the, what was that called? Cowboys vs. Aliens? Yeah, yeah that's, that was a weird one. That was a weird it one. Was, I watched bad, the, but, uh, but Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I watched the whole thing because it actually caught my interest. Right? right. And then Freddie W. decided to do a video about it. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is so cool. And then the other day I went to go look for that. Couldn't find the video anymore. Really? Yeah. Huh. I think some of the stuff, like, I think some Hollywood studio probably was just like, yeah. Urgh. That makes sense. That makes sense. But that happens a lot with YouTube. Have you ever been to Playlist Live? No. I want to go. I want to. But uh, they had Playlist Live in Orlando? Yeah. And then they have one in D.C. coming up. I was about to go to it, and then uh, Megacon was at the same time. Makes sense. Good choice. So I was like, uh, nope. spend the money or try and make a video and like have fun right. with friends. Absolutely. But I do want to go to network with people. Right. And try and make music videos, That'd uh, be which cool. I, uh, I did a few music videos recently. Okay. And I'm actually gonna be making one soon. Yeah. With a pianist, 
Really? Yeah, she's a cosplayer. Sweet. And she cosplays a lot of Kingdom Hearts. That's and she awesome. plays a lot of Kingdom Hearts stuff on the piano. Really? So we're going to mix both of them, kind of like a Lindsey Sterling kind of thing. That'd be awesome. And we're going to mix both of them, and she's going to dress up, and like what? we're going to do a whole That's music a good idea. kind of thing. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. Speaking of that, where do you get your music? Um, Different sites. Yeah? A lot of different sites. Okay. Uh, it's, it's hard to actually... That's the hardest part of the video. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I'm i always looking for music. Yeah? Always. So shout out to people who have it. Yeah, please. Yeah, absolutely. Just hit me up. FDSedanoArts at gmail.com. <laughs> please. Just be like, hey, <laughs> look, I do music. This and this and that. I don't... I like. If I don't use it, don't be offended, because sure. I have a I have a have a list of at least 200 songs that I can still use. Right. But I'm always looking to use music, and it all depends on my mood. Sure. For the song. Absolutely. I don't use a lot of rock, because it doesn't go good with the cosplay music right, video. Right. Yeah. It doesn't suit the mood. It doesn't of everything. suit the mood unless like it's like a horror kind of thing or something. Right. But I use mostly like something slowish, right? Right. Uh, not too slow, not too fast. Uh, b building up in the intro because that way it builds up into the video. Right. <laughs> Slight, slightly like um, I don't know how you. It's definitely a particular style. What genre would you put your music into? It's like um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it's like a weird like electronicy, but chill, not chill. But like yeah, chill. Uh, chi it's uh, like chill. Dubstep, chill step, chill step. That's what it is. Yeah, that's, that, that's what that's what they, <laughs> they mostly. It's like chill dubstep or like EDM, but it's like it's not too crazy. Kind of like uh, there's this one group that they got really big recently, yeah. Galantis. Okay. Their stuff is pretty good, and I would love to use it in my videos. Yeah. But they got signed by a label. There goes I that. can't use their music. It's not copyright free. It's not royalty free. It's right. not Creative Commons. So, out of all of your videos, which one is your favorite? Oh man, um, yeah, I know that's a hard one. It's like asking a cosplayer their favorite question. It's usually the newest one that I put out. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Your latest one's your favorite. Yeah. That makes sense. Absolutely. Because it's 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 the one that I spent time on recently. Right. Because yeah, once they're done, they're yeah. they're uh, they're yesterday. Like, one that I really liked was my 2013 mashup. Okay. Because when I first started, I got a lot of celebrities saying, hey, go follow FD Sedan Arts. I, I remember that. Like, you had um, cool. Anemia, Nadia Sonica, right? No, no, no. That was no, this no, year. No. That was this year. That, that was 2013 this year. one was, I had. Um, Did you have Yaya Han that year? 2013? No. You have so many celebrities all these years. What's going on, man? Oh, cosplay <laughs> celebrities recently. Yeah. 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 Uh, some of them, like when I went to go get Leanna Vamp one time, I, I go, uh, oh, yeah, I make cosplay music videos. Oh, yeah, did you make the one at, uh, at Shock Pop? And I was just like, yeah. She was like, yeah, my friend Anna Mia was in that one. I was like, yeah, Anna Mia, I know oh. her. Yeah. Like, uh, I love Leanna Vamp. And, and she was just like, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's my friend. And I was like, oh, can I get you on video? She's like, sure. And, and she was a little busy at the time, so we ended up setting a time that I can come. Nice. Which was really cool because it wasn't just like, I'm busy right now, just come back yeah, right? some other time. It was more like, I'm Let's busy right it. now. Right. So at this time in the morning, if you come, I will work with you. That's so cool of her. And I was just like, oh my God, you're awesome. <laughs> she, you know, she just got married yesterday. Yeah, I know. Congratulations. By the way, congratulations. <laughs> Big fan. If she ever hears this, right? like, hey. I'm such a fan of hers. She's yeah. so, so nice. You know, she's in the 501st. She's, she's awesome. She has oh, a fan yeah, trooper. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's a legit member. But yeah, she's so, so nice. We talked about, um, I met her at, is Magic City, right? Yeah. Is that what she was? Yeah, she talked about how um, she met Nathan Fillion. I was yeah. Like, Let's talk about this because I'm a huge fan of his. <laughs> but yeah, she's so cool, so so cool. That's yeah, always nice. She 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 was just so nice that whole time, and then she still wasn't doing anything after I got a little bit of video of her. Yeah. And I'm like, can I take pictures of you? And she's like, yeah, of course. What? I took this one picture and she was like, I love it. Send that to me. Really. Cool. Here you go. Ho ho ho. And uh, well, once I sent it to her. She, I like. She ended up favoriting the the 
uh, I'd sent it on Twitter and she favorited the the tweet, but she never took it. Like nice. I was just like, oh, damn. Did, did you did you keep the tweet? I do this weird thing where you know you get an email when people yeah. favorite it. Yeah. I have a folder of celebrities who favorited it or retweeted me. I'm like, we're gonna put this over here. The only one that I kept was when Yaya Han followed me. She followed you? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's like the highest uh, Twitter Yaya praise, Han, man. Yaya Han follows me on Twitter. Sneaky Zebra. What? And like other people. But when Sneaky Zebra did it too, I, I screenshot. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah. I, on that vein, who are some of your favorite people that you look up to their work as well? Sneaky Zebra, I'm sure. Because they're uh, pretty great. Yeah, they were the first ones I ever watched. Sweet. Sweet. So them especially. Um, back when uh, when uh, I started, I started watching Sneaky Zebra. Then I found Axonel. Okay. Which doesn't do cosplay music videos anymore. Right. But he inspired me to do stuff. Cool. And, like, I would look up all his interviews. Yeah. <laughs> and he would talk about how he would find cosplayers and stuff like that and talk to them and set up the video way in advance. Right. Which, that's how I started off. But now it's more like I just go to the con. Seize a day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see someone there, hey, you got a minute. I... I that was when I had time to do that. Sure. Like now, I I just work so much. It's like I hear you. It's like uh, I don't have time. I'm just gonna go. Right. But this con, I did set up something, but with people I already know. Sure. And I set up like a whole. I'm doing a whole cosplay showcase kind of thing now. Oh, cool. Where I'm gonna get certain cosplayers, interview them, ah, and then show smart. their cosplays and everything, like a cosplay music that's video cool. for them while they talk over it in the interview. That's awesome. So that's what I'm doing now. Sweet. And working on that, hopefully to come out in like two, three weeks. That soon. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Man. I've already got footage. I yeah. just need it's all cut more in. of the interview and cutting it. And gotcha. But uh, other than that, uh, I just come to the cons, get video, yeah. ask people, and sometimes you get shot down, which is not often. Right, right. Because uh, I, I usually go up to people, hey, can I get you for a cosplay music video? Sometimes they'll be like, yeah, sure. I get them on video. I give them my card so they can find the video. Sure. And then they'll be like, hey, I already follow you. And it's like, oh, thanks. Uh -huh. oh, hey. <laughs> And sometimes there's people that come here and they're like, uh, hey, can I get you for a costume music video? No. Oh, lame. It's like, damn. That's a, all right, fine. Good luck. Gosh. <laughs> uh, man, I just thought you looked awesome. You know, I right? wanted to get you on video. But that's Gosh. cool. Whatever. You're going to see a really <laughs> awesome video you're not in later. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the funny thing is uh, that happened to me at this con. Really? Someone goes, no. And I was just like, oh, man. And then someone else said no. And I was like, what? What is up with people? Are you guys from 4chan? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so then I was just like, man, I wonder why I'm not getting people to like commit to doing a video. It's just a few minutes, right? I'm not, I'm not asking you to spend your whole day with me, right? And then I went out and I saw these people along one of the Wizard World walls. Right. And and had all the the one out front with all the sign the oh, Wizard yeah, yeah. World sign, and I got a video of them and I did a nice little pan and then I go to show it to them. One of the girls was, that said no to me was walking by, I stopped, looked at what I did, and goes, "Oh, I have time. Do you still want to do video?" I go, "No, <laughs> I oh, don't have time." What goes around comes around. And because opportunities, man. I I it, it was just the way she said no to me. Right. I, I understand it's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm camera shy. Oh, that, that's fine. Right. That's happened to me before. Oh, I'm too camera shy to do this video. Okay, don't worry about it. Just don't be a dick about it. J but I went up to her and I was just like, can I get you on the couch? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like, uh, you could have said that a little nicer. Right? For real. Well, <laughs> so if somebody wants to get in on that... <laughs> If somebody wants to get in on doing what you're doing, they want to try it, what advice okay. would you give to somebody? Do it. Yeah? Shia LaBeouf that shit. Just yeah, right. do it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it happened to me. Right. You just decided I one day. I just jumped into it. It sucked. Right. But I s kept looking at other people's videos, and then I started wondering what they were using to get it so still, what they were doing to make smooth video what right. kind of cameras they were using and stuff like that 
what lens is because right. that's very important absolutely very very important and it got to a point where i was just like ha right cool i've already researched everything let me try so you'd say just do it don't be afraid to fail and yeah. do your homework yeah that way you can that makes sense because if you don't do your homework you're not gonna know right if you're not learning you're not getting better it's it's one of those things where it's like oh i want to do this this and this and this and this do it right do it. go for it oh but i need the money honestly you don't i've seen people do amazing stuff uh ace you know ace Yes, I do. Yes. Ace, he does a lot of really cool videos with his GoPro. Hey, oh, yeah, dude. It's a GoPro. It's a $400 GoPro. Absolutely. That does 4K video. You know. That's nuts. <laughs> go go nuts on it. For sure. Oh, my God, shot front here again. We're actually over an hour. Can you believe that? Oh, crap. Did that go by fast? Yeah, that went by pretty fast. Right? <laughs> you have any time? So um, where can people find you? Uh, FD Sedano Arts. Everywhere. <laughs> everything? That's just I like everywhere because it's just what That's I you? used for everything. It's the best way to go. Mauser's the same way. Jedi Brian on almost everything is me yeah. as well. It's the way to uh, go. You can, I don't use Facebook that much, but right. if you message me on Facebook, I'll probably be like, yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, I was on that You podcast. message me and I it's have. like I reply, yep. but I don't use Facebook that much. Twitter and Instagram is where I'm mostly on. There you go. And so it's YouTube like channels. hot here. FD Sedano Arts as well on yeah. YouTube? Yeah, cool. FD Sedano Arts on YouTube. Uh, I think that's all I have. I have a Tumblr, but I don't update it as much. I'm the same. I got. I just got the name for it. I was like, uh, I don't yeah. even know how to use this thing. <laughs> I got a website. Hey, hey. hey. Moving on FD up. .com. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> nah, most of my photography is on there. Cool. Uh, it's my portfolio, kind of. Oh, okay. So when people ask me, oh, what have you done before? Hey. Right. Smart. Take it. And people are like, uh, oh, lots of sexy ladies on here. Yeah, hey, well, that's right. Bow, bow, that's what bow. I do. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. No problem, man. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Woo. Whoop.